Hello, in this video we're going to find the NPV which is called the net present value. To know what does it exactly mean, I would suggest read a little bit about it online. In this video I'll just show you how to find the NPV. So before you find the NPV, just read the problem again and make sure you haven't missed anything. So it says at the end of year 10, you can sell the company for 400,000. So at the end of year 10, we should add the 400,000. Now one more thing, which is called the cost of borrowing or the cost of capital. This will be given in the problem. And this will be needed in order to find the NPV. Read about this as well a bit more to totally understand the concept. Now let's see how you find the NPV. What you have to do is equals NPV and open the bracket. The first thing you do is click on the cost of borrowing. Then put a comma. And in the profit row, select everything except the first one. So do not select the zero column and only do it for the profit row. And close the bracket. And then do plus the first one. And click enter. So this is the net present value. Now if this is bigger than zero, you should invest in the in the investment. If this is equal to zero, it means you're making neither profit nor loss in your investment over the 10 year period. And if it is negative, it means you'll make this much loss over the long term period compared to just putting it in a bank for 10% or something. So NPV has to be bigger than zero for you to invest in the investment. Now if there are multiple investments given, you will have to pick the NPV. You'll have to pick the investment with the biggest NPV. So one more time, if there are multiple investments given, you will have to pick the investment with the highest NPV. So this is how you find the NPV, net present value. Any questions you can type below.